Hi friends, uh, today I am here with another new topic. Our that topic is formatting string. So here, as we learned in the Python variables chapter, we cannot combine string and numbers like this. This is an example of this. So I want to run it. See here, message printed that can only concatenate string, not int to str. It means that str string and integer cannot be concatenate each other so for uh, concatenations what should we use so here but we can uh, combine strings and numbers by using the format methods the format method takes the past arguments formats them and places them in the string where the placeholders curly braces are so here I have initialized this variable age equals to 36. I want to concatenate it with a string. So how will I with the help of formatting? So here uh, another variable a is equal to my name is John and I am then I have given the position. It means that uh, MPT curly braces. I tells it that I am going to use the formatting method for concatenation the integer value so here see here print a dot it means that a is this a dot formatting with whom i'm going to format with it h variable so h variable for the formatting i have to write here a dot format then i have to give the variable with whom i am going to concatenate so here value i am going to concatenate with h variable so here I, ha I will have to give age. So if I run it, see here, my name is John and I am 36 because 36 is this variable. It has been initialized here. So for the formatting and uh, now it has been concatenated each other. So that's why we are using the formatting method. Here it's uh, another example of formatting by default occupied the position if we don't initialize the index number in curly brackets so here so i have here created three variables one variable this one second third so in second three values 567 values 49.95 values it means that every variable have different values so see here, so this is an other example of uh, formatting. See here, by default occupied the position if we don't initialize the index number in curly braces. If we don't give a uh, numbers here, then it occupies uh, itself index number of the this one, okay? So as I have written here, then you can see that I didn't initialize here also this number, but it get this one automatically so here you can see that same thing uh, there is not uh, initialize any value in this curly braces but it will uh, get a default values so when i print it see here i want three because at the first position this this variable this variable is three so i want three pieces pieces of pieces is here you can see in want and this is there is a between this one curly braces it shows that uh, this one formatting so uh, i want three pieces of item so here see 567 it means that item no so here pieces of item no means this this is here so it will be this will be converted there uh, at this place it will come here uh, for 49.95 dollars it it shows uh, that price so if we talk about this one for it will be here because of the space has been occupied default so it understand that everything is there it get the space step by step first it take this one then this at the third time this will take so i have sequentially given the variables first second 
method. If we don't uh, give here index number, then it will uh, take the formatting sequentially. First step, second, third. So just like this, you have to understand it. If you have any question in this program, so you have to contact me. Okay. Define index number. There are uh, same three variables, but they have a different value. So my order, as you get to, I want to pay. You can see here, this is index number. Means this value, zero, one, two, this. And dollar for zero, zero is this, this one, quantity. And uh, uh, basis of item one, one is HM node. So if we run it, if we run it, then the result will be here. See, I want to pay uh, $49.95 for three pieces of item. But if I change the value, then how will I see here? One, and I want to convert it to two. So it will be printed just like there. I want to pay uh, $567 for 490.95 pieces of item. So just like this, uh, you can uh, do the formatting method used here. Another topic, escape a character. What is the escape character? This is a way of using uh, string values. And how can we append the string values uh, with double quotations and single quotations also the slash mark. To insert character that are illegal in a uh, string, use an escape character. An escape character is a back slash followed by the character you want to insert. An example of an illegal character is a double quote inside a string that is surrounded by double quotes. Here, this is an example. A is equal to we are the so called we you see here weekends. So weekends there is a double quotes here here. But already we have uh, used double quotes out of this. See here. So both double quotes cannot be used in uh, string values. If I run it, there is error in value syntax. So to fix this problem, use the escape character. How will we use? A is equal to we are the so called. Now I have to slash use here. Slash then double quotes. Then value whatever you want to print, just like I am print uh, university. University. Okay, then slash, then double quotes. If you use uh, just like this, you can uh, use multiple strings each other. So run. So we are the so-called university uh, from the north. Uh, just like this is a temporary values I have written here. So another way of using double quotes. Uh, marks and single quotes marks each other. How can we use the double quotes and single quotes marks? I, I think that I have been already told you that thing. So once again, I am telling you here, uh, A is equal to welcome to data science. Then I have given double quotes. So it's a rule of the string that in the same quotes, you cannot use that quote. It means that if uh, there is a double quote and this is also double quote. In the double quotes, we cannot use another double quote. If I run it, see, invalid syntax, so we cannot use them. So what have we to do? We have to do uh, using single quotes marks in the double quotes. We have to uh, differently. If we are using double quotes, then in the string, we have to use single quotes. If we are uh, using single quotes, we have to use in the single quotes, double quotes. Okay, just like this, this is a clear example of this thing. As you can do, uh, welcome to data science. Now, See here, I have used single quote here. Double quotes in the single quotes. Okay, so I have used single quotes in the double quotes. If I run it, this is same as we were using slash. See here, this is same. But uh, when we are using the same quotes in uh, the string, so we have to use a slash. If we don't want to use slash, then we have to take care of the quotes. In the double quotes, we have to use single quote just like this. This one and this is so here. Uh, this is another example using double quotes marks in single quotes box. 
here it's a simple example it is this is single quote this is also single quote i have used single quote from the outside but i have written class i have also used their single quotes which but if i run it see it's invalid syntax because i have to give here double quotes i cannot use same quotes in a string if i run it again so it will be printed same as it is so uh, this was the about the formatting method and uh, you can see that escape characters i have deeply uh, taught you uh, this method that how can you use them and if you have any question you can ask me directly thanks for watching